to my channel. So today I have a different sort of video for you guys. I just thought this would be the perfect type of video to post on my channel because it's different. Also, it's very helpful, like if you have an overweight cat especially, this applies to you then. Basically, this is a really, um, you know, natural and healthy way to get your cat to lose weight. First of all, um, I guess I'll start off by talking about my cat, so, um, who had the weight issues. So mainly it's one of my cats. I have three cats. Only one of them had, like, severe weight issues. I mean, he was like 14 and going on 15 pounds. Now I, I think I got him down to about like 9 pounds. He's like 9 pounds. So yeah like it's a it, it over time obviously like you know um, he lost the weight so it wasn't um, just like in a week or something like crazy like that because you don't want to to get your cat to lose weight um, that quickly and I don't think it'll happen anyway so basically what I did was um, I did what anybody should do if they want to lose weight. Um, I managed their calories. My cat Norman, so I'll show you guys a little clip of him right now because I don't want to disturb him um, from his nap, but he's just adorable. So you guys can see what he looks like. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he is over there taking a nap. I don't want to disturb him. And he is just the most adorable thing ever. I love him to death. I've had him since I was, um, geez. I guess since I was like 10 or 11. Yeah, he's just really been with me, um, you know, ever since. Like, I was just a child. Um, I love him to death. He is my baby. And I don't know why they make it harder for you to figure out how many calories are on in the cat's ca uh, cans or whatever. They don't really list how many calories are in the container. So you really have to Google your cat's uh, food company's name. And I prefer uh, feeding my cats um, all like wet food. Wet wet cat food i cannot talk today but i feed my cats shiba and it's you know it's a healthy cat food whatever it's a good brand i looked at the ratings reviews all of that stuff which you should do um i don't feed them dry cat food at all because you know cats need to have more um water they need more like moisture and more water whatever because um, they don't get enough water. So basically what I did to get my cat to lose weight, he probably lost like five pounds within a couple years. I watched his calories, you know, and kind of like cut back on feeding him um, as much of this stuff because, um, I don't know, most of, if you look at the ingredients, most of what it is, is meat byproducts, and I just know that he's probably gaining a lot of weight just eating a bunch of uh, his cat food, but I, I still give him a good amount of it because he needs the vitamins and stuff, so cats need their, you know, vitamins, and I also feed my cats vitamins, but that, I can make another video about that if you guys would like to know about that. So what I did was I started feeding all my cats um, what I call chicken soup. And I'll show you guys at the end of this video how I make that soup. Basically what it is is chicken drumsticks um, boiled in water. I remove all the bones and all of the extra skin and fat that they can't um, process or can't digest. And I feed them mostly that and they really enjoy drinking the the juice, the chicken juice, um, because it has, you know, at least a chicken 
brothy flavor and it's not just water so they get more of their water intake that way that's pretty much what I did and also you can feed them catnip I think there is a brand that I'm using right now for them called hot nip and I don't know why it's called hot nip but it's organic so I suggest getting you know organic like fresh organic dry catnip and if they act hungry you know if your cats act hungry just feed them some catnip and I guess I'll show you guys how I make the chicken soup there's really not much to it. Um, it's pretty simple, but I'll also be showing you how I debone the chicken because um, after a while I kind of like got the hang of it more and I kind of like figured out how to debone it better. So I'll show you guys um, how to debone the chicken drumsticks as well. So definitely watch out for those bones in there. And yeah, um, I guess let's just get right into it. So for this I'll be using chicken drumsticks and I like to separate mine out into separate bags so I normally like to use like four to five um, in each bag. I like to use like four or five at a time. So I'm going to start by um, adding my chicken into a pot with water um, about you know like two inches below the top or so. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to preheat my stove to medium high with uh, the lid covered, of course. So once the water starts boiling, it is time to turn your stove to low and let that cook for 10 hours straight. And once it's done, I'm going to just turn it off. And then now I'm going to show you how to debone your chicken drumsticks. So I like to do this right after it's done. Um, you're just going to want to take the skin off, basically just all the fat and all the bones out. So you just slide the skin down like so. And you'll see that bone just fall off on the end like that. So I'm just going to separate my fat out and my bones out from my meat. Um, so you're just going to want to turn it over and then and there's always this bone that is like stuck right in the center of the chicken and you'll see it. Um, it's just like this very skinny bone that can break very easily so I just like to um, kind of take it out carefully and we're just going to set that aside. And then the last bone that you're going to need to take out will be this bone right here which is on the top and remove that and I also like to take that little piece of fat out because uh, cats cannot digest that um, properly and I'll show you guys again how I do it um, so you just want to pull the fat down the skin down and um, turn your chickens over And then you can actually see that little bone that I was talking about that's in the center of the chicken. You can actually see him popping out right here. So normally I'll just take him out except I broke that one. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to take this one out properly. And you'll see how skinny this bone is. It's just so skinny. It's very fragile. So just pull it out slowly and then set it aside like so. And then you're just going to want to take the top bones out with the little piece of fat and then you're just going to take that one out and then it's time to take your big bone out and I'm actually going to take out that little piece of bone that I broke I'm going to find that if I can find it oh there it is so that is how you debone your chicken, you guys. So I hope that helped you guys um, a little bit, you know, with some information. That's just uh, from my personal experience, you know. I wanted to share 
um, with you my personal experience on how I got my cat to lose weight and he is in much better shape now. Also, I just want to mention this in my video real quick. Um, this is something that I mix in with my cat's food that I suggest that you guys do as well. It's uh, pumpkin, organic pumpkin. And this is specifically meant for cats and dogs too. That is what that looks like. And this does a lot of good things for them. This helps balance out their blood. And it's just really um, healthy for your pets. And so what I do is I mix them with their wet cat food. And this is the brand that I use. Um, and normally I honestly just split one of these containers up with... Um, between all three of my cats. They like to eat several times, kind of like, if I feed them too much at all at once, they'll throw up. So, um, yeah, I try to feed them a little bit at a time. So yeah, that's normally what I do with my cats. And also, you know, if they, if I fed them and then they act hungry and they really bother me a lot, then I'll just give them some chicken soup. Um, and, you know, with a tiny bit of chicken in there. And so they'll normally um, drink up the soup and they'll get the picture, you know, that I tried feeding them again. And um, then if they bug me after that, then I'll give them some catnip. Or you can just try giving them some catnip at first and maybe they'll, you know, chill out if they're, you know, really overweight. So, yeah, those are my tips for um, keeping your cats healthy. And um, you'll notice a difference in their behavior, too. After they lose a few pounds, they'll start acting more active um, and, you know, more energized. And their fur will start to get um, softer. And, yeah, it's really nice to have a healthy kitty. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like. And um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my Instagram, which is at underscore underscore Jasmine Kim. Um, check out my shop, which is down below in the description box. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.